Hello friends, today, we will learn about how to send temperature and humidity data to new Blink 2.0 using Arduino Uno and DHT11. DHT11 is a slow sensor. It takes 1 to 2 seconds to update the data. So, it will take up to 1 or 2 seconds to update data on Blink server. You can monitor the DHT11 sensor data in real time on your mobile phone using Blink app as well as on the web dashboard of Blink Cloud. Next, I have used SIM 800 LG SM module. I used this because this project needs internet connectivity. And I have used GPRS feature of SIM 800 L for internet connectivity. Look at the status LED of GSM module. When it blinks twice in a second, it's mean the SIM 800 L is connected to the internet. And now, it can send data to Blink Cloud. Make sure, you must buy, and activate, the data plan on your SIM card, for low price internet. Check data plan on the SIM card provider's website. I am using 2G SIM card. 3G SIM card will not work with SIM 800L. Insert the SIM card into your GSM module. And then mount the SIM 800L on breadboard. For this project, you need Arduino Uno, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, and 3.7 volts battery for powering SIM 800L. Let's look at the circuit diagram. I have connected the data pin of DHT11 to Arduino pin 4. SIM 800L TX pin is connected to Arduino pin 2, and RX pin is connected to Arduino pin 3. I have powered the DHT11 sensor from Arduino 5 volt spin. And for powering SIM 800L, I have used 3.7 volts battery. Follow the circuit diagram and connect all the components on the breadboard. Next step is to set up Blink account. For that, go to blink.io website. Create an account if you don't create it yet. Otherwise, log into your Blink account. For creating a project, first, you have to click on the template. Here, click on, New Template. And then, write any name for the template. Select, Hardware, as, Arduino. And, Connection Type, as, GSM. And then click on, Done button. The template is created. Now, in the Data Stream section, you have to create, a data stream on virtual pin, for temperature. Here. Enter the name as temperature. Select pin as V0. Then select the units as Celsius. Set minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 100. And then select the following number format. After that, click on create. Similarly, create another data stream for humidity. Use the same settings as we have used for temperature data stream. We have created two data streams, first, for receiving temperature data, and second, for humidity. Next step is to create, web dashboard. Here, select the, gauge widget, for displaying temperature. Then go to the settings of the widget. Here, enter the name as, temperature. And select data stream as, virtual pin 0. And then, click on save. Similarly, create another, gauge widget, for humidity. This time, select data stream as, humidity, virtual pin 1. Now, click on, save button, to save the template. Now, it's time to add a device, in this template. For that, click on, search button. Then click on, new device. Here, select, from template. And then, select the template that we was created. And then click on, create button. And the device will be created. Here you can see, the Blink credentials. Copy them, by clicking here. These credentials will be used in the code. Let's move to the coding of the project. For this project, you need latest Blink library. Here, I have added the link, to download the Blink library. Next, use this link, to download and install the DHT library, for temperature and humidity sensor. Next below, enter your Blink credentials here that we have been copied, from the Blink account. Next, select your GSM module, such as, SIM 800, SIM 900, A6, or A7. My GSM module is SIM 800L. 
So, I will uncomment this line of code for SIM 800 GSM module. Next below. Enter your SIM card APN here. You can get APN, username, and password from your SIM card provider's website. This code will work for Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano. If you want to use the code for Arduino Mega, Leonardo, or Arduino Micro, then you comment out these two lines and uncomment this line of code. And your code will ready for Arduino Mega, Leonardo, and Micro. My hardware is Arduino Uno. So, I will use the previous configuration. Next, I have set the interval. And I have set it to 1 second. It's mean, the data will be sent to Blink server, after every 1 second. Next below, I have defined, send DHT data function. And this function sends data to Blink cloud after every 1 second. You can download the code from the description of this video. The last step is to configure Blink mobile app. I have put the Blink app link in the video description. Here, select the template that we have created before. Next, set up dashboard. Here, we will create two gauge widgets. Create first widget for temperature. Select the data stream as virtual pin 0 for displaying temperature data. Similarly, create a second gauge widget for humidity. This time select virtual pin 1 for humidity. That's it. The mobile dashboard is created. And now, the project is ready for testing. Test the project yourself, and let me know. You can use the serial monitor, to check the connection status with Blink server. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.